Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of your OGR as today is game 53 as the Edmonton Oilers went up against the Carolina Hurricanes and sadly fell to the Hurricanes 2-1 to one in a game where I thought we played not too bad. Honestly, I thought we deserved to win this game. Uh, of course, we had some rough defensive plays. Smith didn't make the big save that we needed them to make. And we lost in a very tight and close game between these two teams where, you know, we played really well against one of the best teams in the league. Just unfortunately wasn't able to beat the red hot looking Frederick Anderson, who of course has been looking insane this year. And he, he shut us down without a doubt. Played amazing. Derek Ryan continues to pop off. Uh, and McDavid got sticked up hard, and the rest are just absolutely atrocious the, the, um, throughout the entire night. There was two coaches challenge where they had to wave it off um, because, you know, the linesmen couldn't do their fucking jobs. And there was a lot of dumb penalties, which we'll definitely be getting into that a little bit later on as well. But before we get into this video, I'd like to just say if you are new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. And turn on the noties as well if you haven't sewn already because, you know, I upload a decent amount of time. So turn on those notifications if you like to be notified on when I upload early or, you know, go join my Discord server as well because I always post when I'm doing videos or streams up on there as well. So instead of me blabbling about myself, let's get into this game uh, between the others and the Hurricanes. Um, in a game where I thought we played pretty well. The first period, I would have to say, it was it was back and forth hockey between both the Oilers and the Hurricanes. You know, definitely wasn't a phenomenal start for us. But then we started picking up some steam. And we started doing a little bit better. And we carried that throughout majority of the game. The third period definitely was a little bit of a stalwart between both teams. We weren't phenomenal in the third period of action. And I think our best period was, without a doubt, the second period where we did get a big goal. Of course, there was a stoppage of play because they had to fix the glass and they could not fix the glass. My God, they had one guy fixing it all by himself. He got stuck up in the netting. And he's like trying to jerk it around and he couldn't get it off. And it took forever for him to just get it undone because they had to call out these other guys, which took them like 10 minutes to call out these other guys to pull the thing down. It was this absolute ridiculous thing. It was so ridiculous that they didn't get those guys out earlier. But let's get into reviewing the game and get down to the goal scoring. Um, first goal of the game was scored by Toivo Teravainen, who got his 15th goal of the season for the Carolina Hurricanes. Really good passing play by the Hurricanes. Nemelainen and Bouchard both didn't do a great job defensively. And they were a pair that wasn't a very good pair. I have not been a big fan of Nemelainen and Bouchard, to be completely honest with you. And Bouchard's been very bad defensively over these past few games. And especially there, he was spinning in circles, looking a lot like Barry in that situation. And uh, he needs to improve his game a little bit defensively. He's been not the greatest guy defensively over the past few games. He made a very bad defensive read, just spinning in circles and not just attacking one guy or making sure that Tara Vinen didn't get that beautiful opportunity that he did get. Now the Hurricanes, I give them credit. They were absolutely amazing passing, especially between Tara Vinen, Semenchnikov, and Haho. The only guys that were able to get goals for the Hurricanes were just passing pucks around us like it was nothing. They had a really good night between all those guys and they were phenomenal. Um, and then Sebastian Ajo got his 23rd goal of the season. Now, it wasn't a great defensive play by us. For some reason, Devin Shore was way too deep down and left Sebastian Ajo wide open. But for some reason, Smith just couldn't skate because he went down to his butterfly and then tried to stand up instead of just going over on, in his butterfly to just sprawl over and rob Sebastian Ajo. He tried to stand up and then move, which of course made him so he couldn't fucking skate and almost fall on his ass. And he gave Sebastian Ajo basically just an empty net to throw it in the back of the net. Now, if Smith actually made the save, this would have been a tight game going into overtime. And we could, have got, we could have gotten a point out of this, which would have been massive for us, especially where we're sitting in the standings. We're 61 points. We're in a wild card spot. If we got a point out of this game tonight, we would have tied up with the Vegas Gold Knights, which would have been massive. And we would have jumped into a divisional spot, which is what we wanted. And... You know, it is what it is. Smith keeps being Smith. And I give it to Smith. He did make some big saves, right? He did make some big saves. He wasn't terrible. But he did look a little sketchy out there. Every time he played the puck, he just was not making very good moves past that puck. 
throughout the entire night. I was not a big fan of the way he was moving the puck around. A lot of the times he was like trying to force things that didn't need to be forced or trying to rush things that didn't need to be rushed. He just wasn't looking very good throughout the entire night. And I just haven't been a big fan of Smith. And this was like one of the only games where Smith actually had a decent save percentage. And I think it was a big reason why it was because the defense, of course, stepped up massively for him. Really, like the defense, of course, stepped up massively for him and gave him a good game. And uh, hopefully, maybe we can see Smith start to play a lot better. But honestly, it, it still was a very sketchy game by Smith. He wasn't moving around in the net very well. Now, I'm not no goalie genius, so I'm not going to talk too immensely into it. But he just wasn't looking very good in the net. And we need Smith that was like last year. And honestly, he doesn't look like what he was last year. Uh, and then the last goal of the game was scored by Derek Ryan, who got his eighth goal of the season. Which was just a beautiful snipe from Derek Ryan. Made a really good move. Sniped it right through the five hole of Frederick Anderson to get his eighth goal of the season. Four goals in two games for that man. He has just been unreal for the Edmonton Oilers lately. And got us really close, but then we just weren't able to get another one in the back of the net. We did really well throughout the entire rest of the second. And even into the third, we weren't terrible. Just wasn't able to put anything in the back of the net. Now, we did have a very depleted lineup. We did play very good against the Hurricanes, and we had a very depleted lineup. We were missing Nuge, we were missing Yamo, Jesse Poliarvi was still out of the lineup. We were missing a lot of our big players, and we still did very well. Um, McDavid had an amazing night. He was dashing all over the place. Unfortunately, his goal got turned over because Mr. Stonehands Fogel um, went offside, and of course, it got turned over, which was an amazing start for us. We even scored a goal, like, first minute in, and of course, it got turned over on us. Typical Oilers luck. Tyler Benson was really good as well. I really liked the way that he was playing throughout the entire night. Uh, he was generating some really good opportunities and was given a little bit more ice time throughout the night as well. 11 minutes and 40 seconds. He got even some power play time. And honestly, I liked Benson throughout the entire night. Uh, Hyman was also really good for the Edmonton Oilers as well. I really enjoyed how Hyman played throughout the entire night. He was really good. Ryan McLeod did really good alongside of Ryan. I mean, there were so many different lineup combinations. Devin Shore was kind of dumb defensively. Didn't do a whole lot offensively. He was just kind of mid throughout the entire night. Nurse did really good alongside of CeCe. I really liked when they threw Nurse alongside of CeCe. I thought that was a really good defensive pairing. And I thought they did really well. And I would like to see that a lot more than Nurse and Barry. Um, and they kind of split those guys up midway through the game because Barry just was atrocious defensively throughout the entire night and just did not look very good. Skivier was very meh throughout the night, didn't do a whole lot, wasn't great defensively. Nemelinen had a rough night defensively as well. Dry Settle and Kane didn't look fantastic. They weren't able to generate a whole lot of offense. Defensively, Dry Settle didn't do a whole uh did pretty well defensively, just wasn't able to generate a whole lot offensively and was just a little bit of a rough night for that guy. But still, a really good night for him. Wasn't terrible by Leon Dreisaitl. Didn't play too bad. But honestly, for this game, I felt like we deserved to win. We just didn't get that puck luck that we needed. And, you know, we had a, a pretty good amount of chances, just wasn't able to throw anything in the back of the net. You know, McDavid did do pretty well. He even got sticked up in the face and missed most of the first period, which... I think was also kind of a, you know, a thing that kind of says back in that first period as well is that, you know, we missed out McDavid who, when we had a four minute power play, we just weren't able to throw anything in the back of the net because of the fact that our power play was missing McDavid and Nuge. Um, and we just looked totally out of the sink. Barry was making some very dumb passes. Even Leon Drysaddle wasn't making very smart passes either. And we just weren't able to generate anything on our power play throughout the entire night. And we made some big defensive mistakes, which ended up in two big goals for the Carolina Hurricanes, which, you know, ended up being their big dub. So big highlights for me. Benson played amazing. Full goal was meh. But McDavid and Hyman continue to produce 5-on-5, five five, continue to play amazing. Nurse and CC need to continue playing alongside each other. Bouchard really needs to improve upon his defensive game. I would like to kind of see him play alongside a Legacy in a lot more. William Legison played really well throughout the night, and I think that's what they should be doing a lot more is pairing Legison alongside of Bouchard a lot more because I think those guys will be able to work a lot better. Nemelainen and Bouchard, they're not similar defensemen because Nemelainen likes to hit a lot more. He's more of a defensive defenseman, but Nemelainen takes himself out of the play a lot more, and Bouchard kind of does the exact same thing, but he doesn't. He hasn't been defending very well, and that was the reason why we had that big goals against, especially when Terrabinen scored. Um... Mike Smith didn't do too bad, wasn't too bad throughout the entire night, and the refs were an absolute joke. That first period, they called so many penalties that the rest of the game, they didn't call anything else. They had a dumb penalty on Tyson Barry where he got 
called for holding the stick, which was dumb because Neo Needle Rider like shoved his stick into the net and Barry just ran into it. And of course the stick flew away and they called it fucking holding the stick. It was such a dumb penalty. At least it didn't, you know, come back to bite us in the ass, but there was, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven penalties in the first period. They were just not putting away their whistles. And this game took forever. I think it was almost like three hours long in this game, also because of the netting that, you know, we, they had to deal with. Um, but honestly, uh, this was an amazing uh, feat for the Edmonton Oilers, playing really good against a team that's one of the best teams in the NHL, especially missing some of our big players in Nuge. Um, um, Yamamoto and Bison King. We were missing a lot of our big players on the lineup, and we still did very well against the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. So hopefully we can get some back some of our guys going into the Philadelphia Flyers game. But we are going up against a weaker team in the Eastern Conference, so hopefully we can have a big bounce back victory then. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Tell me, guys, how you guys thought uh, of the game down in the comment section below. But I'm going to peace off here. I think that's just about everything that I wanted to talk about. Derek Ryan continues to pop off. Benson is looking amazing out there. My, also, to note, Ryan McLeod has been very, very amazing for the Edmonton Oilers as well. We haven't really got to talk about him as well. Uh, he's just been a perennial two-way guy, uh, producing some offense, playing very good defensively. And Ryan McClaw has also been a big guy that I've been a real big fan of as well. But that, that's just about it for me, boys. Uh, I'm going to end the, the video here. Thank you very much for watching, boys. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow as uh, the Vancouver Canucks will take on the New Jersey Devils. I'll be live for that game at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So make sure to tune into that. But for now, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys all later. Adios, amigos.